All right, hello everyone, this is Travis Tidwell, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is just kind of walking everyone through uh, the process of trying to upgrade MediaFront from 7x 1.5 up to the latest and greatest, which is the 2.0 branch. Um, on, if, on the actual uh, web page, a lot of you probably have noticed that I've made it very clear that there currently is an upgrade, there is not an upgrade path from 1x to 2x. However, <clears throat> there is a way to do it manually. Um, and it's not really that difficult, so um, it just requires you to follow a certain process to make sure that all of your stuff transfers correctly. And so what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through that process. Um, also, what I'm going to start off with is in my presentations that I've given over MediaFront 1.0, um, a lot of times I use a make file, um, which a lot of which everyone can go to GitHub.com, Travis T, um, and then you can go to MediaFront demo, which is what I've been using in a lot of my presentations to um, easily install MediaFront 1x branch. So what I've actually done is started from this point and my goal for this presentation or to, for this tutorial is to go from this point and then upgrade it to MediaFront 2.0 manually. Um, also, I would like to state that after I do this, I will be creating a 7x, 2x branch of the MediaFront demo, which will be the 2x version of this entire presentation so that if anybody wants to walk through this themselves, they can or they can just run the make file and it'll build it for them. Um, so here we are, we're at this point. This is the MediaFront demo. This is um, this probably looks very familiar because it's in a lot of my presentations. But what we're going to do is start at this point. Before we do begin, I do need to make a disclaimer. And before anybody walks through this, please do not do this on a live site. Um, also, make sure you up. Um, back up your database so that you have everything saved before you do this tutorial. Also make sure you do it only on a dev server because there is a potential everyone's site is different that things can mess up and I would not want that to happen on the live site. <clears throat> With that said, let's begin. Um, so just to kind of walk everyone through um, again how things are set up on this demo site um, again everything is 1x um, so if you go to the modules um, so in the modules you'll see that I have um, MediaFront uh, 1, 7x 1.5, um, you have the Open Standard Media Player one, uh, 7x 1.5. I do have the Media module installed, but I'm using the 1x branch of that just because it's considered more stable than the 2x branch. Um, other than that, here's all the other modules that I've installed. I'm using the latest views. Um, I'm using uh, features to do my um, exports for the modules and then other than that it's pretty much just core modules. If you go over to content or I'm sorry if you go over to structure and then go to content types I do have a media content type set up. If you click on manage fields you'll see that I have the uh, media upload field which is just a file field. I'm using the media modules media file selector to um, which is a really cool widget that the media module provides to um, provide my media. I have just a base field image, which is the image field that comes uh, with core Drupal 7. And of course the widget is image. And then here's the field that I absolutely cannot stand, which is what one MediaFront 1.0 1 required, which is a media player field, which is a widget media player. If you go over to manage display, of course, this probably looks familiar. We have the media player with the format of node player. In structure, I have several media front presets. I have node player, which is the player that you see in the node. I have the player, which is the playlist included media player. Um, I have a playlist only preset. And then I have the views player, which I believe I, I use to show up on this views page right here. I believe that's where I have that set up. Um, I could walk you through these presets, but for sake of time, I'm not going to um, because the presets pretty much convert um, straight across without a problem. So, um, so that's how my nodes are set up. So if you go to content and go to 
um, the change up. You'll see this is this is pretty much where I left off in those presentations for the 1.0 presentations. I've got the no display. I've got a player to player linked up, so I'll show, I'll be able to walk everyone through how to rehook that up um, so that that works again. I've got a playlist only here. If you go to click on MediaFront demo, I have a view set up. So if you go to structure uh, views. Um, I've got a media view set up where I've got two different paths. The first path is the grid view, which is the one that you guys saw on that grid, which um, to do that in MediaFront 1.0, you had to include a block on that page, which was kind of hacky. Um, also, I have a page um, set up where it's just player. So if I go to um, just forward slash player, you'll see that here I have this just player view, which is the just the default MediaFront uh, 1.0 media player. I can go edit my view again. I have a block set up, which is the playlist that I do the playlist only selection. And then of course, if you go to structure blocks, um, here's the media player block that I had to add that does, the, um, that basically does, if you go to the home page here, that does this connection point right here. And so then you can click and connect. Um, so you can tell just a lot of things are scattered around and because MediaFront 2.0 is such a radical change I know it could probably be intimidating to try and get all of this to work with MediaFront 2.0 um, but hopefully with this video people will not be so scared and just go ahead and just do it um, because it's not once you actually get the hang of it it's not as bad as it seems and also I recommend everyone upgrade to MediaFront 2.0 just because it's so much better, much more performant, just a much better way of doing multimedia in Drupal. So um, the very first thing that I'm going to do, and this might freak everyone out a little bit, but I'm actually just going to just copy and paste the new module. So this is the MediaFront 1x version. What I'm going to do, I've already pre-downloaded MediaFront 7x 2.0. And here's the MediaFront 1X. I'm just going to drag and drop this guy on top of there. That's the very first step. And um, I know that that's, that probably seems a little freaky, but that's really all you have to do. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Configuration. I'm going to clear my cache. That just kind of, um, what that does is you go to Performance and just clear your cache. And what that does is it kind of gets all the cache out of the way so that nothing, uh, so that none of that will screw anything up. So then if you go to content, the first thing you're going to notice is you're going to get some warnings. Um, and that's just because things are not totally right between 1x and 2x and things in the database um, exist that shouldn't. So let's the very first thing that I would like to clean up, and you can actually, if you click on the change up, you'll notice just things just look really weird. Um, like here was this, this, this piece over here was the playlist only piece and for some reason it's um, it's really wide but we'll investigate that later and then also on the node view it's not even showing up at all so let's let's fix the node view the very first thing so we're gonna go to structure content types and we're gonna click on manage fields on media the first thing I want to do is get rid of this field media player just delete it okay the next thing that I need to do, and remember with MediaFront 2.0, you have to explicitly state which, which fields you want to attach or you want the, to populate the media player. So the first thing you want to do is click on Media, and I'm going to click on File, so I'm just going to click on Edit here. And under MediaFront Settings, I'm going to say Field Type Media, and I want the media type to be Media Content. So that's something new in MediaFront 2.0. I'm going to do the same thing for image. I'm just going to click on edit and I'm going to go to media front settings and I'm going to say this is an image preview style. I'll just say is large and playlist style is thumbnail. Click save. So far not so bad. The next thing you're going to do is go to manage display and I'm going to drag this up here and I'm going to say media front player and I'm going to make sure that it's the node player. I'm going to hit update and I'm going to hit save. And that's that. I have officially fixed the um, the node view for my media player. So whenever I click that you should see something show up which it does but it's it looks a little strange um, so we're going to investigate why this is looking the way it's looking. So let's go to structure 
media front presets, and we're going to go to node player. So now the first thing um, that I want to mention is the old way of doing this in the presentation settings. It would, I think it explicitly said 550 is the width. The player height is um, is 400. We're going to actually just force this. I think we need to make sure that we say pixels. Um, because the old one would actually insert the pixels for you and then on the player width we're just going to say 100 percent and then we're going to hit save and so that actually just fixed our preset so just making sure that our our presentation settings width and height are set correctly because that was one thing that was changed between 1x and 2x is you have to provide the pixels or percent if you wish and so then you can just say 100 percent hit save and so now our node display should look great, and it does. So here's the new uh, MediaFront uh, 2.0 uh, version of the media player. The next thing we're going to do is to fix this little guy, um, this playlist that's kind of overlapping here. Um, so that remember this was the this was the playlist only preset. So the first thing we're going to do is go and look at that. So let's go see MediaFront presets, and we're going to look at what this playlist looks like. Okay, so you can already tell that the width and height are, are um, not what they should be. Um, again, 1.0, uh, when you said playlist only, you didn't really have to do anything with the width and height. With the new player, you do um, just pretty much if you do 100% as the width, that's going to be that's going to be good for most use cases. And then, of course, you can keep the player height the same. And then I'm going to say save. So that's going to fix the width here. So there you go. Now it's contained within this block, but you notice it's not populating anything. <clears throat> to fix this, we're going to have to actually dig inside that view to fix it. Um, but before I do that, let's actually look at our other views and just kind of see what we got going on here. Okay, so no longer this player is showing up, and the reason is is because that block no longer exists. So if you go to blocks, you'll see it just completely removed the media player block from the uh, from the content. So we need to manually add that back and to do that you just go to edit view and we are going to add a header to this grid view and it's going to be the media player so this is the media front player. We're only going to make it for this page and we're going to use um, I guess the views player I think that was the one that it was using. Um, we don't need to provide anything for media front settings and then you just hit apply and then we're just going to hit save. Okay. And of course, this looks bad. And um, we've already fixed this for the node player. So let's fix it for let's fix it for this view. So we're going to go in here. We have to fix the width and height. So the width, I'm just going to make 100%. The player height, I'm going to make 400 pixels. And also, I just want just to just to illustrate that the the new default template looks much better. I'm just going to switch this guy back to default because it does look a lot better. Um, so there's that. Also, you'll notice this logo's not showing up. That's another thing that changed is now you have to provide the full path um, to the logo um, from the document root. And you can see that right here it's just saying logo PNG, which is not with respect to the document root. So that's why it's not showing up. Instead of actually digging uh, for the path of where that is, um, what I'm going to do is just delete it, just to kind of remove it. But or you guys, you guys can uh, provide the the relative path, but you don't have to. And so that just got rid of it. So it'll it'll look good. And so there we go. Um, so now the next thing you noticed is it's not populating. It's not populating anything inside the um, player. And um, the reason why is because of another big change between MediaFront 2.0 and 1.0 is you have to be explicit about what fields you want to populate within the media player. And you noticed in 1.0, we did not have to add the media field. All we had to add was just the image and title. Whereas in this one, we have to add that media field. So I'm going to go to content. I'm going to click on media. I'm going to say all displays because we need it for everything. And I'm not going to create a label, but then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say we are going to make this a field type of media and media content in the media front settings. I'm also going to exclude this from the display because I don't really want to show it in the view. 
I'm going to hit save, and we're just going to see what that actually does. Um, so there you go. It actually populated the content um, straight into the player, so that, that worked. The next thing we're going to do is, is make it work so that if you click on one of these, so you notice that when I click on one of these, it doesn't do anything. So we have to fix that so that it actually links to the player. So to do that, you have to click on one of these, the content image. And there's a new, um, there's a new media front setting called link to player. So I'm just going to click on that. Also, I want to make sure that this image populates in my, my media front player. So I'm going to say preview is large, playlist is thumbnail, and I'm going to apply to all displays. And I'm going to hit save. <coughs> Excuse me. And so there you go. It kind of the, the YouTube player does override um, it does override the, um, the the image display, but that's the reason is is because YouTube provides its own. Um, its own presets, but as you can see now, we've got this is actually clicking and it's it's linking to the um, the player up here. So that's awesome. In fact, I can make it to where it shows the the hand by changing this image, and we'll just say uh, link to content. So that right there, it it and it will the if you have it linking to the player it will override that click but what that will do is that will provide a little hand as you can see so people know that they can click on that and it throws it up into the player so we've officially fixed this view um, which is the media grid which is really cool the next thing I'm going to move on to is the player grid or the player which if we go here um, so so far it actually looks like it's fairly decent like it's it's picking up the images um, just because of the stuff that we fixed in the grid view, it kind of automatically fixed this view. We do need to fix this preset, so let's go to structure, media front, uh, player, and we're going to go to player settings, presentation, we're going to make this 100%. Um, keep that, make that 500 pixels, and then logo, we'll just get rid of it just so that we don't see, because we, we have to make that uh, relative to the Drupal root. And so now that I saved that, that should look a lot better. Yep, and it does. And so that one's pretty much done. We're pretty much done uh, with that. Looks awesome. Okay. Um, and then the next thing that we need to do is make sure that our playlist, which is the playlist, um, the playlist uh, setting, that that also works. Now, I think the format, this media front, um, this media front player format, I think that should, yeah, and that that still works with between 1x and 2x. Um, so the media front player style, that's a that's good news is that, that that definitely does work and that transfers over. But let's go to a piece of content and see if our player to player works now. There's a possibility it might be broken. Okay, so here we are. We have the playlist works great now. Let's see if player to player works. And that looks like it's working, which means that player to player transfers from 1x to 2x very nicely. So as you can see, in a matter of, oh, I don't know, um, 20 minutes from the time that I actually got started to the time that I'm actually done, I am now officially upgraded from 1x to 2x. Thank you very much, and please contact me if anybody has any questions. Thank you.